Yo, yo, what's up? It's B Major. I'm here on FantasyTV.com. Upside down always. Upside down. B Major. Trey Songz, let's go! What's up? This is Carmel, and you're here on FantasyTV.com. I'm here with B Major, what's up, what's up? producer, songwriter, artist. What's up, B Major? What's How up? are you? Thank y'all for having me. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. I like your boots, I see. You. Thank you. With your style popping. <laughs> How did you get started in the music industry and when did your passion start? Um, in the music industry officially, I got started, um, I was 17 years old working with Trey Songs as a producer. I started doing just music by myself around 16 and like locally in my city and it, it got a little bit more popular. So then at 18, it just kind of went to the, the nation. A lot of people don't know that you graduated from college with yeah. a degree. Yeah. Um, what college was that? And what University of Michigan in, in Michigan. I'm from Michigan. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, graduated, uh with a communication and psychology degree. Princess and the Frog, that's like one of my most favorite things I've done in my career. Just cause growing up, like all of my songs that I learned came from like Disney movies, like Lion King, like how it pops off. I know, you know what I'm saying? Like that's where I learned songs from. Cause I, you know, I didn't go to no music school or nothing. So like being able to do that, was just a, a huge thing. And I actually did that with Neil. And I was always telling him like, yo Neil, come on man, let's do this song for this Disney thing. And he was working at the time, everybody did, like Beyonce, every, and everybody's trying to work with him on that. I'm like, yo, bro, I want to do Disney, I want to do Princess and the Frog, and he's looking at me like, oh, yeah, cool, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't know how much it meant to me, but that that was like, that was real big for me. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Princess and the Frog is like the first Yeah, my little cousin saw that, everybody, <laughs> oh, you know. Did you do, what, now, what song did you do, the Neo song? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's my song. Well, tell us about working with Neo at Compound Entertainment. How did that collaboration start? Collaboration started through my, my manager now, my now manager Diesel, mm -hmm. and um, he knew Neo. They had been working for a minute, and he just been sending him a lot of my stuff. And I always admire Neo's songwriting ability. Like I always used to watch him. Like man, yo, this dude is just amazing at song. So it was like a, a real blessing to be able to work with him. We did a lot of people. We worked with um, Latoya Luckett, Mary J. Blige, Chrisette Michelle just in like my first couple weeks working with Neo. So that was super cool. Yeah. Would you consider him your mentor? Um, I don't know about mentor, but I would definitely consider him inspiration to what I do because just seeing how creative he is helps me to be more creative. Mm -hmm. Your new album, Upside Down. Yeah. Um, tell us about that and what producers did you work with? What singers? Well, um, I'm a producer my friend. Mm -hmm. I produce right, so, so I produce most of it. Yeah. Okay. Um. I also, but one of my friends, Boy Wonder, who did a lot of the Drake stuff. He did Eminem, Not Afraid. He did some of them for me. Mm -hmm. And then as far as artists, I had it was cool. So I had a lot of the people that I've been working with that just believed in me as an artist who wanted to be on the project. So I had Trey Songz, Drake, T Pain, Kerry Hilson, and these all just came together along with DJ Ken Sparks, who's like one of the biggest DJs, and he like put it all together for me, so, and they all did it for free, so it's cool, yeah. and so it's a free download on bmajor.com. Okay. Yeah. And so on Twitter, your picture is like upside down. On everything. It's, yeah, on down. everything. Yeah. So, um, is that to promote Can we your, put this upside down? Uh, parts of it, maybe. We'll see. Like, just my head, just chop it, you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> <laughs> Rotate that. Okay. Is that to like promote your new album? No, nah, that's what I, that's what I do. Yeah. Like, I had a big argument with the label. At first, I was like, y'all want all my stuff to be upside down? Like, no, no way. They're like, people need to see you. And I just kept doing it anyway. I just didn't care. Mm -hmm. And so they started seeing other people do it, other people do it, other people do it. And then um, it got uh, it got like official, like on the on the website, on the job website. I'm next to Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys mm -hmm. upside down. Yo, yo, what's up? It's V Major. Um, I just had a, a dope interview on fansitetv.com. Check us out. And now that it's over, um, I gotta go. Try not to make sense.